Are you starting? Yeah. Okay, we're, what we're showing now is how we feed Champ and how he's um, learned to wait until we give him permission to eat. So we put in some turkey just to show that it's not just regular dog food, although he, he's still excited about regular dog food, but just to show that he's especially excited because there's pieces of turkey in here. Uh, we mix it up a little bit. Uh, he waits. And we usually say, at least I say, uh, dinner time, camp, dinner time. And that gets him a little bit more interested in the food, just so he knows it's dinner time uh, or breakfast time. He doesn't eat lunch, he just has snacks. Uh, okay, so we usually show him the food a little bit, and then we take him over and we feed him on this elevated crate so he won't wolf it too fast. Uh, that's what Sandy taught us. She's the, the trainer at, at, with her. And um, anyways, when we, when we feed him, you can see he wants his food, but I he, can't waits, really teach him. he waits until we allow him to have his food. So we set the food down, he's interested, but uh, if you say that, he, he won't go, although he wants it. You can see he wants the food, he gets a little excited. Uh, but we train, him that, we train him that he has to look at us before. Champ, okay, look here. <laughs> He's confused because I'm talking. We make, him, we make him wait till 10. He's not eating it now because I'm doing that sound, but he's confused because I'm talking. Usually, once I start talking, he can't eat. Uh, but we make him look at us until 10, and then he can eat. So now I'm going to go ahead and let him eat. Okay, Jim. And now he can eat. And so he, he wants to eat that turkey, especially, but he, he also likes the kibbles. He's pretty fast. Uh, we have tried to feed him before just to see how fast he will eat or how much he will eat. And uh, he will eat quite a few cups if you keep feeding him, so he has to be put on a diet. He usually Sit. eats about uh, Sit. He usually eats about two cups in the morning and two cups in the night plus treats, so maybe a little bit more than that if you weren't feeding any treats, but about four cups a day at least of the food we're feeding. That's about that for the food. Put lots a lot of treats. So. And he also drinks a lot of water. And then he drools. But not that bad. It's not really drool, it's mostly just water dripping off. He's totally finished with this heartworm treatment, uh, but he's just in recovery now for another 20 days or so. <clears throat> he's supposed to take it slow for 30 days after the second shot. Okay, we're going to go ahead and show how we put Champ to bed now. Uh, what we usually do is we give him one of these greenies. <clears throat> this is the right size for a large dog, but it still works well. It's, it's actually the small size. Uh, it's supposed to help clean his teeth. That's why we give these greenies to help clean his teeth. Uh, although we brush his teeth too, but, uh, and he's really good about brushing his teeth. We found if you lay him on his back, uh, you can put your hands in his mouth and you can brush his teeth and uh, he resists, but it's not that bad. Maybe we'll show that. Uh, okay, anyways, when we feed him the greenie sometimes, uh, just to get his attention, I usually say something like, smell the greenie champ, smell the greenie, but I'm holding it in my hand so he can't get it. And he knows not to bite, uh, but you say smell the greenie so he knows what it is. So he's interested in the greenie. Now, what we're working on with him right now is to teach him to go to his bed uh, in order to get the greenie treat. But it's not 100%, but it might work, so we'll try. Okay, Chip, inside. Come on, Chip, inside. Inside, Chip. Point to it. I usually inside. point to it. Inside, Chip. 
Inside! Inside! He only knows it from Karen. There, he went in well with Karen. Not with me. He, he doesn't know it from me. Okay, now that he went inside, we'll go ahead and give him the greenie as the reward. Good boy. He likes his crate. Uh, he has a pad in there, so he, he goes in there a lot. But, uh, he didn't like it as much without the pad. Yeah, without the pad, he doesn't like it. Okay, after this, uh, we'll take a pause, and then we will go ahead and show you uh, how easy it is to brush his teeth. It's not too easy, but uh, compared to other dogs, it's fairly easy. So we'll show you how he lets you uh, put your hands in his mouth and stuff. Okay, we'll take a little pause here.